everybody, it's Dawn, and welcome back to my channel, Say La Vie Dawn. Today I have a gift opening, I will say, from I Am Mama 24. So let me explain. So back in November, I Am Mama 24, that's her channel name, Rebecca, uh, hosted a 12 Days of Christmas swap. And when you entered, she sent you a questionnaire and you had to fill out a questionnaire. And then she was partnering Canadian partners with Canadians and Americans with Americans just for shipping and things like that. Anyways, only, well, including her, only three Canadians participated, right? So she, uh, and it was Tina Epinay who entered. So t she put Tina and I together and then in her, when she was giving out the partners for both countries, she said that she was not going to partake. And I didn't think that was fair. So I messaged Tina and we talked and we're like, no, no, we have to include her. So I emailed Rebecca and I said, you know, we're, we're gonna make this a three-way swap. So what we did for Rebecca was Tina, Epp, and I each put six items together and we met up. We were meet, we met up, we were meeting up anyway, and we shipped it out to her together. So uh, my things were funny. If you, I will link the, her video down below. Rebecca has opened hers. And my package came last Friday and I was waiting till she got hers and then my week got busy. So I'm just recording now before a friend picks me up and we're going out to finish up Christmas, last minute Christmas shopping. I'm kind of sitting on an ankle because I don't know. I don't, my eyes look tired and I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to jump right into this opening. Thank you, Rebecca, for hosting and uh, we're glad you like everything. Tina, App, and I, still are working on our stuff. It was actually funny the day we met. She's like, are we supposed to be doing this? We're supposed to be doing this for us, for us two, right? And we're, we're both like, we were so focused on Rebecca that her and I said we will, we were supposed to get together this week, but that's not happening. So hers is coming and Tina and I still continue. We were going to, sorry, we were going to continue doing the 12 for each of us and then we split it for Rebecca. That's what we heard at Tina Epp and I decided. Anyway, no more blabbing. If I have more to say about it, I will uh, <laughs> as I go. Um, yeah. So this is the box Rebecca sent it in. Just one of the flat rate boxes. Now I did, I did uh, get some, I did open it just to save some time. I, was, I have to get my roots done and I was hoping to have all that done before the video and my nails, but no. So anyway, she put it in this beautiful box. This was wrapped as well. I love this box, Rebecca. This will actually match my craft space. So that's awesome. Thank you. Okay. So the rules for this were, again, if you're doing the whole thing. It was, you sent 12 items to represent the 12th day of Christmas. She sent out a questionnaire. So each one of us kind of know some likes and, and things like that. And the other requirement was a homemade ornament and a card. So I have her card right on top here. Sorry about any glaring or lighting. It is kind of a mini snowstorm out right now. I didn't think I was going to get to film this, uh, but my friend's kids, uh, Buses were canceled, so she's bringing them to school. My kids' buses ran, so my kids are at school except my high schooler. He's downstairs because his teachers are on strike today. They're doing Wednesday strikes right now. Oh, this card's beautiful. So this is the hand card she made me. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous, Rebecca. So it is, it's layered. So this is puffed up. It's like a, like a felt, but it's like sparkly. And then she's layered houses in there and they're all layered in under the snow and these trees, like everything's dimensional. These gin or these gingerbread, these houses have snow that she's made. So these, these uh, houses are all handmade. Wow, this is a lot of effort. And then these hearts she's added and then this beautiful, oh, the sky she's made with, is that, is that ink? 
Or is that watercolor? It looks like ink. Gar gorgeous. And then inside. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. And Merry Christmas to you and your family as well. All right, I'm going to go with this first. It looks like she numbered hers too. So that's what I was going to say. So Tina and Epp and I, it was a last minute meetup. It was, yeah, it was funny. So we ended up just having lunch. The day we met, we, I just, I had nothing ready. Well, I had her ornament, I had her ornament and card done, but I had nothing wrapped or anything because I didn't know how at first was, if we were going to end up getting together. And we ended up going to the States together. So anyway, I already, I emailed Rebecca and I said everything pretty was wrapped by Tina. Tina numbered hers. Tina brought numbers for me to put on, but they weren't the, the seven to, tw or yeah, so, so Tina did one to six, and then I was supposed to do the other with my, and I was supposed to bring numbers. She she didn't have the right numbers, and we were wrapping my stuff while we were having lunch quick. It's pretty crazy. I felt bad, and but anyway, I could tell Rebecca figured it out in her video because she knows Tina's crafting style, and Tina makes these beautiful journals. Anyway, so that being said, I could tell Rebecca figured it out, um, by what Tina numbered, that was from Tina, and then the other half was me, but we put it together, it didn't matter. Anyway, so that I'm gonna open this box. This is not numbered, so I'm, it might be the ornament. Ah, oh, it is, oh, it's beautiful, it's so pretty. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna get, this is the ornament she's made. Is this not gorgeous? So, it is on, the back of a tag and then there is one of the plastic or like one of these snowflakes okay so then it's layered so tag snowflake and then she's made this it's almost like a burlap no um not burlap um oh i can't think of it uh, linen type i'm not saying that word right but linen type rosette with this beautiful Flower. I think it's a paper flower in all in vintage oh it's so pretty and then a tassel at the bottom I don't got to get too close to the light today and it's got this sparkly looks like like snowy sparkly and all these just different oh, beautiful ribbons oh that's gonna look so pretty on our tree thank you so much I absolutely love that thank you I'm going to put it on our tree I love it. Okay, so I'm just seeing. Okay, this is just packaging. Just right, that's just bubble wrap, and I'm just going to see. Just looking for numbers here. Okay, number one. This is number one. So I'm going to open it. Oh, oh my goodness! How did that? How did? I was nervous to send. We I did send a candle. And of course I don't have scissors, so I'm gonna have to break this lovely, my mom hates when I do that with my teeth because her and my dad paid for my braces. Uh, I'm gonna say these are little wine, um, I think they're wine markers, but everyone in the crafting world is using them for all different kinds of things. Saving those, I'm just gonna put this aside, I'll be definitely saving those. Wine charms, there we go. And she has sent a Mystic Birch candle by Ashland, which is a Michaels brand. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I was thinking of doing the Bath and Body. I buy a Bath and Body Works candle every year for Christmas, or I go into Home Sense and Winners, and I didn't buy one yet because I'm like, you know, spend it on my kids and and things like that first. And I was going to go out and get one today. Now I don't need to, I have a Christmas candle, yay. And it's right up my alley. So one of your questions was if you liked essential oils or candles. I said both and your scents and I like fruits and woodsy scents and cologne scents. This is right up my alley. It is such a, 
woodsy smell. I love it. Christmassy woodsy. So thank you, Rebecca. I am so excited to burn that for this Christmas season. Thank you. Okay, we have, I see three, number two. I like how you numbered them. I felt so bad that we didn't have the numbers. I was in such a rush that morning. Got to get the boys on the bus, feed my chickens, and meet Tina by a certain time at one of the truck stops before we, it's just a crazy day. I'm gonna save these bags, I love these bags. What's in here? Oh, thank you so much. So another one of my question is, you know, types of crafting things, your wish list, and for me it's ephemera. Uh, if any of you have seen my American hauls, I was actually over in the States looking for ephemera, because it's very hard to find here if you don't order it online or it's very, very expensive. So I got Echo Park I Love Christmas Ephemera. You get 33 pieces in this set. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm already at 11.14 because you all know I like to talk. I'm just gonna show you what's on the back. Oh, Rebecca, this is gonna be so awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love this one too. And then she sent me another one. It's Imagine That. And again, Echo Park Ephemera. And this is what's on the back. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I feel so blessed. Okay, number three, Merry Christmas Dawn. Enjoy with your sweetie. That's number three. My sweetie and I were saying that over the Christmas break, her, him and I have been so busy that we are going on a date. <laughs> it's funny when your husband and wife and yeah, when you, before you get married, you have all this time for dating, you get kids and so we're, we're going out and I mean, our kids are old enough to stay home. So we're going on a date. Happy holidays. Oh, I love this. I've never seen this one. Little elf belt. And collar. <gasps> Ooh, Timmy's gift card. Oh, thank you. <gasps> oh my goodness. Rebecca, you did not have to do that. And she said you're sweetie, so I do have to share it. So one of the questions was if you like tea, your favorite beverages, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, and I said coffee, and this will cover anything. Thank you. What a sweet idea. Love that. Thank you. Number four. This is like the never ending box. Oh, look at this wrapping paper. I'm really in, well, I love vintage Christmas, always have, but really this year. He is so cute. I don't know if I can save this. Probably not, because she has it wrapped so well. I said that to Tina too. I said, when we were meeting and get everything right, I said, Tina just, or I said, Rebecca just has everything so perfect in her videos and everything. And I said, I know it's all gonna come beautiful. And here I am wrapping it at the restaurant. <laughs> but. <gasps> oh, thank you. Wow, I feel so spoiled. So she sent me this, um, and I do not have this. I saw it, and I hemmed and hawed, and I did not get it. And it is, I'm gonna call, I don't know if it has a name. It just says Christmas Clear Stamps, but to me it's very country Christmas. And for those of you that know me know, I live out in the country, I love my birds, I love everything country. And look at the red barn. Oh, I will definitely love and use this and cherish this. So thank you. I like these sentiments. <gasps> the little presents you can stamp under the tree in color. <gasps> oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My heart's over here. Thank you. Look at the little snowflake. Oh, there's more and different presents. That's awesome. Thank you. I love it. Look at the red truck with the presents. I'm gonna have so much fun creating. I love it. Okay, number five. 
guys are probably all getting bored of me. Like, it's okay. Look at this packaging. It's just, I'm gonna reuse this. I'm gonna package reusing. Oh, look at she's got the shred, paper shred. What is in here? Oh, that's my dog. Sorry. He's an old grumpy dog. Dexter. Sorry, guys. I don't want to refilm that and I don't know how to edit. <laughs> that's him coughing. Is that? That's my older Newfoundlander. My eight and, eight and a half year old. Stop. Sorry. I'm all embarrassed now because. <gasps> wow, look at this. So she has made, just fell out, I'm gonna fix it in my stress of my dog. It's like a little package here. And oh, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna open it this way. I am leaving it. I'm gonna reuse this. Burgundy, I love burgundy this time of year. Actually just bought a burgundy sweat, like a lighter sweater. Oh, it's nail polish, oh my goodness. So another question was, you know, like makeup or nail polish and Clearly you don't see me wear makeup often. <laughs> I do wear it sometimes, it's just not every day. Oh, look at these colors. So there's like a corally hot pink, which is right up my alley. I wear this so much in the summer. Thank you. And then we have a blue, and I'm right into the blue nail polishes right now. So that is awesome. Thank you. And Oh, look at this, as I say, I was in, I'm was i into uh, burgundies, look at this. So I didn't end up getting a pedicure, I had to cancel mine with friends last week, and there's no time now before Christmas, so I'm going to do my toes with this one. That's awesome, I'm still hoping to get my nails done. Tina and I were supposed to do that this week, well, any of them, Tina, Tina, we invited everybody, but it just, it didn't happen, so I'm gonna try and get mine done, but the pedicure has to wait. So. Thank you, Rebecca. We'll be doing my toes with this one, so thank you. I love it. Oh, I feel so spoiled. You spoiled me. And this is the last one, number six. Oh, what a cute little Santa, too. So yeah, I don't know why Dexter coughs like that. He has nothing in his throat. He just coughs like that now that he's older. I just We just call him um old man even in the morning he like I'm making the kids just I make I still well my high schooler I don't because he gets picked up at 7 20 in the morning the other three I still make their lunches yeah I'm not mom high school was my cutoff I, so Wes makes his own the rest of them don't anyways when I make lunches he comes out and he lays there and he moans until he gets fed and one of it's one of my son's that's in uh, grade school still his job to feed him and he moans and whines until he gets his food and I'm like you're such an old man like just it's hilarious <gasps> oh my goodness oh Rebecca look at all of this so she gave me all kinds of charms you have no idea I have charms <gasps> and there's a peacock I have charms in my AliExpress cart now they don't need to I can cancel that Look at all of these. So there's a couple peacocks. Oh, not a couple, there's a lot of peacocks. Look at these, there's four of them. Look at them. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. And they're very vintagey, rustic looking. Oh, I love them. Thank you. Oh, it's just full, guys. Uh, we've got scissors. We've got bicycles. Like, it's oh, all kinds of charms. Uh, this is another funny story, Rebecca. So I ordered clock pieces. I forget what the inserts are called for these. I ordered clocks, vintage clocks, and I had forgot because it was the, uh, not the 1111, yeah, it was the November 11th AliExpress haul, and I forgot to order these, and Rebecca has sent me some. Oh, that's awesome, because I have somebody in mind that I needed one of these for before I order more. We've got coat, like we've got hangers, there's scissors in here. Oh my goodness, there's Halloween. Like, it is full, you guys. Like, I'll be here for another 20 minutes if I go through absolutely everything. Oh, look at this cross. Is it, no, it's not a cross, I thought it was. 
But anyway, look at, I am going to have so much fun. Tina and I were, oh, look at this, look at the gears. So, I, oh, look at the little teacup. Oh my goodness. So I was saying to Tina that over the Christmas break, oh, this is amazing, Rebecca. Thank you so much. There's little paw prints, there's keys. She has me covered, a butterfly. You know my favorites, the peacocks though. We have a teapot. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is amazing, thank you. And there's all different colors. So anyway, I was saying to Tina the day we were together that I really wanna start making chunky charms and I'm slowly building up to make chunky charms. And I wanted her to show me. She's like, I'll do a tutorial. So Tina, you need to get on that tutorial. I know there's other YouTubers, but uh, in my group of friends, um, Tina App and Sheila McNabb, both of them make amazing chunky charms. I love them. So either, or you Sheila, you can show me a demo too. So yeah, so this is, this is going to certainly help me make chunky charms over the Christmas break. I am so excited. Rebecca, you totally, totally outdid yourself. Girl, you did not have to go and do all this. I am feeling so blessed beyond words so blessed like so blessed i i am so glad that you know i just wanted to include you because you were hosting you are such a wonderful person i've followed you like i followed you for years even before i had a youtube account i've been following rebecca for years i will link her channel down below go check her out i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure all my subscribers are subscribed to Rebecca. If you're not, go check her out. I will leave a link to her channel. I will leave, and I will also leave a link to her uh, opening what Tina Epp and I sent her, and then I will leave Tina Epp's uh, channel as well, because it was the three of us that did this swap. Uh, so yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart, Rebecca. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and New Year's blessings to you and your family. Um, in the coming new year and I it's been again I followed you for years but it's 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 cool that we're all getting to know each other better so yeah thank you and take care everyone thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys